Okay, good evening everybody. Guess where I am? Well, I'm in Global Village and it's the opening night here of the 2022-2023 season. And I've only just turned the camera on now because I had to calm down a little bit. Just coming through the front door, uh, tensions were high, blood pressure was high. This country is just not set up, or a lot of people in this country are not set up for queuing and order and common decency. And that's in cars and also queuing up to pay for tickets and stuff like that. But nonetheless, I'm in. So I'm really pleased to say I'm in. If you have a look what I'm looking at, you'll, you'll get a good view. I'll cut across the grass here. Lots of people sat out. It cost you 20 dirhams to get in. And you can pay online. And I thoroughly recommend it, having endured what I just have endured. So it's 20 dirhams to get in, or there's 10% discount if you purchase in advance online and that gets you into Global Village. What is Global Village? Well, it's everything you can see here kind of thing. Look, if I just do a 360, you might get a bit of an idea. I'm probably in the darkest place in the whole of Global Village. We'll get to some light. Syria is the light over there. Let's go towards Syria. So there's about a hundred countries represented in Global Village. It's kind of a, a big celebration of life and countries and culture and food and cuisine and all those sort of things in here. I've been past quite a few pavilions. There was um, Pakistan and UAE and the Yemen and uh, Bahrain and Kuwait. As I say, I'm walking towards Syria. I can see the UAE over on my right hand side if I do that. You can just see UAE through there. There's a coffee shop here. There's plenty. If you are hungry, oh, look at this. Let's go here. I'll put that there. <laughs> now, much as it's quite warm, it's probably about 30 degrees. I am not going to go through the through there. Or shall I? Do you dare me? Do you dare me? Come on. Do you dare me or not? No, my camera's too expensive. <laughs> so there's some uh, LED fountains there. Good luck with that. I... Some very wet people. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, right, so what happens here then? Yeah, the countries all celebrate their culture here. You can go into any of these pavilions. I can see Europe and the Americas and Africa. Um, I'll tell you something interesting actually I'll tell you something interesting if you've got the continents of the world so if you've got Africa which I'm walking towards now I'll put you over my shoulder if you've got Africa now what letter does it start with and what letter does it finish with that's right if you've got Europe so I'm going towards Europe now what letter does it start with and does it finish with that's right and then you've got Antarctica Antarctica, it starts with what letter and finishes what letter? And then you've got Asia, starts with what letter and finishes what, what letter? And America starts with... Yeah, America starts with a letter and finishes with a letter. So what do you see unique in all those continents? That's right, they all start with the letter that they finish with. Isn't that interesting? So let's go to uh, the Americas. So this is new, this is new, hang on, before we go to America, we got the Ripley's Believe It or Not, this is the, uh, the House of Strange Things, isn't it? So let's go and have a quick look at Ripley's. I'm not going to go inside any of the pavilions or bar, stick my head in and get a feel for it. I'm not going to really do the place, there's a big th fun fair, a big theme park up there, can you see it? Oh, that says Ripley's Believe It or Not on the Ferris wheel. So there's a big stage here as well. Ah, oh, that's right, I've been here. In fact, last time I was here, I walked this way. Okay, so there's a big stage here with thousands, I'm gonna say at least a couple of thousand of seats there. And it's free to come in once you've paid your entrance fee. Everything is free to get in. You have to pay for your food. Uh, there's plenty of samples being given out all the time by everybody. But uh, they've got the main stage there. And the, throughout the evening, there's a whole series, a whole program of events. And there's some quite good shows on there. Fun for all the family, as I say. 
So what have we got here? We've got Ripley's Believe It or Not. Well, I do believe it because it's there. Um, I say I'm not going to go in, but I might go in. Shall I go and have a little look? It all depends how long it takes to get in. Oh, it says about, oh, you have to pay to come in here, extra. Right, there's the tallest man in the world. How tall is he? <laughs> Fantastic. Here we go, my friends here. Hello there. No touching him. Okay. Hi there. He's very tall, isn't he? Thank you, brother. Got told off for touching him. Naughty. I think the tallest man in the world can look after himself. Doesn't need security, does he? But I understand. For sure, I understand. He's not to be touched. There's a moving theatre. That's uh, a 4D. So I wonder what the fourth dimension is. Sight, sound. Uh, smell, I presume. Don't know. Don't know. Let me know in the comments if you know, because the truth is I don't know. I can see the sight of the sound. Or I can see and hear the sight of the sound. But the others... Yeah, we got the Americas here. We got the Americas here with the indigenous North Americans. Should we go in and see if there's Brazil and Chile and Peru and those sort of places? Some ladies here in traditional dress or I wonder what they're doing. Sorry. <laughs> I wonder what they're doing. Some ladies there in traditional dress or maybe they've just got a really bad fashion sense. And so that's what they'd wear normally. So is there Brazil here? Oops, sorry, sorry. There's a sports shop. I presume that's uh, uh, an American sports shop from the Americas. And there's a fluorescent t-shirt shop, which is what the Americas is known for. Some people here still in their traditional dress. Right, all things considered, Americas, if this was your school report, could do better. Could do better. America's not great. I imagine Korea now. I imagine Korea being very good. Let's go and have a, an explore of Korea. Look where that water's hitting that, that uh, person. Right, let's go and see Korea. Is it the 58th parallel that separates North and South Korea? I'd have to check that, maybe it'll... Let's have a look. So what am I going to find in Korea? I presume lots of Samsung TVs and telephones. The eyelashes, of course. Yeah. Eyelashes are very big in Korea. Let's go through. Everyone stuck, stood still. Oh, there are some traditional Korean things. Some cushions there. And, of course, traditional Korean snacks. Cheese balls. Crisps. What other things have we got? What other things? Traditional Korean pots and stuff like that. I think we should say the celebration of Korea is more going to be on the stage show on its national day. I don't necessarily see it as watches and rings. Let's put this over my shoulder. 
Those cushions are the best. Hello there. They are really doing it. There's a lot, a lot of eyelashes. There's a few sort of Korean little uh, sound things. Don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Right, if I'm being honest, America and Korea, if you're into your shopping, that's where you go. If you're into your culture, that's where you don't go. Let's just keep plodding around, have an explore. There's a big theme park, a big fun fair in front. Japan over on the left. What are these boys doing? Some sort of... Oh, that was teasing. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I think if you persevered with that, that would have been classed as abuse, child abuse. What have we got down here? This big theme park I just mentioned. That big theme park, so there's a Ferris wheel, some sort of uh, bungee jump type thing, plenty of laser shows. Thailand's over here, let's go and have a look in Thailand. Let's have a look in Thailand. There's Thailand. So there's Thailand. Let's go and see what's in here. You are near, believe it or not. There's plenty of dresses. Hi there. Oh no, thank you. It's a lot calmer, it's a lot nicer in here than uh, the Americas or Korea, let me tell you. Much nicer, much more relaxed. Some famous Chicago Bulls Thailand t shirts. Thai massage. I wonder if there's Thai perfumes here. There's Thai fresh fruits. It's a long way to bring the fruit from. What's this Thai deodorant? Glow, vitamin C, all sorts. All right. There's oud perfumes from Thailand. Oud's a big deal over here in the UAE, isn't it? In fact, I do know that the uh, oud trees actually are in Thailand. And in Indonesia and those sort of countries down there, they've got the climate for making them, for growing the trees that the oud seeps from. The oud is a resin that seeps from the trees, I think. Let's go to Japan next. Just before we go to Japan, Here's another one of these characters being washed. Look at, look at that. So we've got the Road of Asia. Let's go down the Road of Asia. That looks quite interesting, actually. Let's go down the road of Asia. Got the Petronas, Petronas Twin Towers up there. 
let's have a look. I have to be careful of the man with the giant, the giant banana. I would be very upset if I ended up with a giant banana as a present from Global Village. So what have we got here? There's a bit of a variety down this road. I presume I'm in Ceylon, yeah? So it's gonna be a long road. Afghanistan on the left. Madame Foe. Oh, that looks nice, actually. That looks nice. What have we got through here? Wow. It all looks very oriental, so Vietmart. So let's have a look at Vietnam. What have Vietnam got to sell? Lots of dried fruits, it looks like. Jawa Cafe, Indo Jawa food stuff, barley. There's barley over there, so you can get your famous. What's this kind of barley handbags? Malaysian, Malaysian things, Asian dresses. Obviously, the beauty station's not for me. I don't need that. Get all the beauty sleep I need. Shall we carry on this road of Asia? I feel like it's the road to Asia. The, how long it is. Bua one, Asian herb. What you do get when you're here, you do get a sense of smell. We talked about the 4D cinema not long ago. Is it Iran? I remember being in Iran earlier today. Well, about 20 minutes ago. Yeah, there's plenty of smell here. It's not bad either. It's not a bad smell. It's not a bad smell at all. It's quite nice. And it's mostly food. This is probably what I can smell here. Taipei Hot Pot Hut. That's, that does look nice. That does look nice. It looks like the road of Asia is coming to an end. Yeah, it is busy, isn't it, look? But then again, it's always busy and it's opening night. So if you thought it was gonna be anything other than busy, you'd be a fool. It is only open for the season, so which is about six months. There is a good website, to be honest. It tells you everything that you need to know. I've no idea why you're watching this film, really. The website's better. Um, a hot dog sounds nice, doesn't it? Junior pasta, Sarge rolls. I'm just thinking as well. I actually came in. I came in through Kingdom of Saudi Arabia by the gate there. I would, I would definitely recommend you remember which gate you came in because it's big. There's no doubt it's big. I am hungry gonna have to eat shrimpy sounds nice they do sound nice and smell nice Iran where and what am I gonna eat Bosnian food I'm gonna go back to the floating garden where they had all the Chinese or oriental food oh yeah i'm gonna have some sort of stir fry or a fried rice or some sort of noodle chicken chow mein or something like that yes please i think i deserve it i think i deserve it don't i look at that there doesn't that look fantastic so we go if i this is iran is it iran 
Look at this. Yeah, I'm on the other side now of the floating market. I can see that dragon's head. Which would be the best way, do you think? Let's go left and go around the lake that way. Overtake. I'm sure you can hear it, you probably can't see it, but the main stage now has got a show on. There's a bit of a pause with the live show, so I'll take the opportunity to show you the LED fountains again. Let's get up there and have a look at this show. Let's get up and have a look. the show but there are numerous different shows throughout the evening yeah so I'm not really sure the storyline of that and I don't really want to spoil it for you all but uh, from what I can make out the bank robbers had robbed the bank there was a big vault in there and then the police came to chase the bank robbers they didn't do a very good job of it but they were very good at dancing the bank robbers managed to escape but luckily or unluckily for the bank robbers luckily for the police there were a lot of girls with fluorescent colour hair who came and saved the day. They caught the bank robbers and then, as a result of that, they managed to open up the candy store and they all had lots of candy. And then, I presume this is the global village, everybody's going to be fun and happy and friendly because everybody, the ladies with the fluorescent hair, the bank robbers and the police and the head honcho, the man with the tin foil on his chest, at the end, once they had the candy, they forgive each other, they forgave each other, and they all had a big dance. So if I've spoilt the show for you, I really do apologise, because it was quite a sophisticated plotline, and I think I may well have uh, done them a disservice by summarising it as, as I did do. Yeah, definitely going to eat here. Definitely going to eat in the floating market. Oh, yes. Global Village Dubai. Here I am.
Should I go left or right? Do you know what? I'm gonna go right. When something's got dynamite in the title, I'm not gonna eat that. That's too spicy for me. Dynamite. Dim sum. No, I fancy a bit of that, maybe. Let's see what the alternatives are. May well be coming back here. But there's a pineapple full of rice there. That looks nice. Hi, I'm just saying I might come back. It looks lovely. Thank you. I might come back in a second. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. We finished here. One more. That pineapple there looks good. That looks good. Pattaya. Hi there. Hello there. Hi. You want try on Udon? Maybe. Maybe. Um, shall I? Uh, go on. I'm going to try something. What shall I have? Yeah. And we have here like noodle soup. Oh no, I don't want okay. soup. I'm going to have. Chicken um, fried rice. Can you do that with chicken? Yeah, sure. Yeah, chicken and fried rice, okay. please. No spicy, yeah. Not spicy. Oh no, thank you. Okay. I'm scared. My noodles then. Right, I finished my chicken and fried rice, it was very nice. And it was quite substantial as well, so I had to woof it down. Luckily, I have the capacity to uh, eat like a pig. Just finishing off on the floating market. I'm very, very full up now. Very full up indeed. I'm starting to overheat. There's been some sort of festival here. Look at all this um, gold on the floor here. I wonder if this is something to do with the Diwali festival that uh, might be going on right now. The Festival of Lights. So I wonder if that's what this is all about. I wonder if that's what this, these tunnels are about. Or they're a permanent fixture of Global Village. So we've got these tunnels here. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it, so look at these. Feel like they turned them on for me. I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a world record run through the centre of these half circle moons lights. They're quite nice actually, and they change colours. Orange, purple, blue, pink. Orange again. There's a global village horse. Let's go up here towards Pakistan. Past the topari. There's a nice word for you. This style here, this is called topari. I know some very irrelevant stuff, some really random stuff. I don't know the important things, but I know things like that. Oh, I'm overheating after all that food. Wow. I don't have the capacity to say no, that's my problem. Just say no, that's all you have to do. I recognize that there. That is Australia, isn't it? That's the Sydney Opera House, isn't it? The Taj Mahal, so there's India. The Taj Mahal is actually selling perfume. Yeah, the Taj Mahal is diversifying. That's very good. I suppose times are hard now. If you could see just in the distance, yeah, if you look in the distance there, on a clear day, you can see all the way to Paris. And there's the Eiffel Tower. Must be a long way away because it's quite small. So let's go to Australia. Oh, this is oh, this is interesting. If I'm being honest, I didn't come here before. I haven't been here before. Look at this. Oh, it's one of the gates. It's an exit. But just say, for instance, if I was going out, I'm not going out. I'm just exploring still. So we've got Italy and. We've got the Colosseum, we've got the Eiffel Tower, we've got the Sydney Opera House, what's that doing in Europe? We've got Big Ben. If you, a quiz question now, what is Big Ben? What is Big Ben? And most people will say it is the tower, but I think that's called the Queen Elizabeth Tower or something like that. But Big Ben is the big bell inside it. There's still more people coming in than going out. 
So, there's the Forbidden City there in China. I've been there. Been to all these places, really. The real places. There's the Statue of Liberty. I've actually been up in the crown of the Statue of Liberty. You can, in, real, in the real one on, in New York, you can go right up into the crown. I've been there. I've been to Baskin Robbins in Fijera in London. Yeah, the car parking's not very good here, is it? I think the brake must have failed on here. It's gone right through, right through Big Ben. You've got the old London telephone boxes, and I'm going to ruin people's photos. Oh, I'm going to just ruin people's photos. Sorry, sorry. We've got pagodas up there on the right. Got okay guys I'm going to start wrapping it up now I've spent about two hours in here and honestly the time has flown by which is an indicator of how interesting it is if I'm being honest if you have to sum it up it's a festival of lights and it's a very bright place there's lots of people in here there's a lot of shopping there's certainly lots of food um, yeah it's a bit of a just a place to walk around and and see things there's nothing fundamentally amazing to do but everything's all a bit of a spectacle there are i don't know tens of thousands of people fifty thousand people a hundred thousand people i don't know how many people are here and everybody's having a good time everybody's enjoying it i wouldn't say you have to definitely go to this place or that place you kind of go to all of it like i've just done and i bet i've only seen 10 or 20 percent of it I'm going back out the gate that I came in through, and this is a much quieter gate, the previous gate over by Big Ben and Australia and Sydney and uh, the Coliseum. That was much, much, much busier. Certainly thousands of people coming in there. This is much, much quieter. So I'd like to tell you that was local knowledge that got me through this gate. But don't forget I had that hassle of having to buy my ticket in the first place. There's India. I should be going to Kerala this, this month, actually. I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll save India. I'm going to save India for another day. All right, live to fight another day. And I'll call it a day there. All right, a few questions to myself then. This would be a plenary in a classroom. Uh, have I enjoyed myself? Yes, I have. Would I come back? Yes, I definitely would. Uh, would I recommend it to other people? Yes, I would. Is it value for money? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, Global Village. Listen, guys, let's call it a day there. See you all soon. Peace out.